VHS effect or camcorder effect in Premiere Pro. Now stay tuned until the end of the video if you want to get a little gift. In case we haven't met before, my name is Nila, so lovely to meet you, and on this channel it is all about videos. If you want to make better videos, make sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell. In this video, like the title says, we are going to create our own VHS look, VHS overlay, Basically, we're going to make our footage look like it was recorded on a camcorder from the 90s because 4K cameras, they're so overrated. What I did to create this effect is I actually used a camcorder. Now, this camcorder is 20 years old. It is probably older than some of you that are watching. Unfortunately, it is younger than I am. I am older than this camcorder. So I shot something on this thing. I reviewed the footage and then I went into Premiere Pro and I tried to recreate it but I made it look worse because this thing is 20 years old and we're going for like 30 year old camcorder. Before we start, there's a few things that I wanna cover. The first thing is that we're going to add a lot of effects. And this means that Premiere Pro can be slowing down and your playback can be laggy. So if this is the case for you, if you are experiencing this, then make sure to watch my other videos because we want smooth playback and it is possible even with a lot of effects. The first thing that we need to do is add an adjustment layer. And if you don't know what an adjustment layer is, it is basically a transparent layer or a transparent clip that you can put on top of all of your clips or how many clips you like and add effects to that layer. And if you add effects to that layer, it will be applied to all of the clips that are under that layer, which is brilliant and super useful in this case because we're going to add the effects to multiple clips. So we're not going to go and add all the effects to one clip, then copy all of it and paste it to the other clip. We're just going to apply everything to the adjustment layer. So in order to create an adjustment layer, click down here on new item and then click on adjustment layer. A little window will pop up and usually the settings that you'll see here are equal to your sequence settings. So just press OK and now you'll find it right here in your project bin. So let's grab it and drag it on our timeline. Now click on the adjustment layer on your timeline to make sure that it is selected and then open up the color workspace. Here we're going to change the colors to make it look more like a VHS effect. Now what we can also do if we go back to the editing window is we can go down here and type in Lumetri color then drag that effect to the adjustment layer. And as you can see now in the effects control tab, the Lumetri effect is applied. I personally enjoy working in the color workspace, which is why I'm going to do everything in the color workspace. But if you want to stay in the editing workspace, you can do it from here too, because it works the exact same way. The layout is just a little bit different. Okay, first we're going to work in the basic correction tab. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the temperature just a little bit. All right, let's go to the tone section. And what we're going to do is we're going to lower the contrast, lower the highlights, lower the shadows and the whites. Now, the only thing that we are going to add is the blacks, because as you can see, as I drag the blacks up, you will see that it gets a little bit of this faded look, which is perfect. You don't need to increase the blacks. What you can also do is increase the faded film in the creative tab, which is where we're going to go next but I like to increase my blacks. All right, let's hop to the next tab, the creative tab. So we're going to lower the sharpen to about right here. The image is now very soft. We will fix that in a second. <laughs> Stay with me, we will fix that in a second. But for now, this looks Perfect. Before we move on, the last thing that we need to do here is we need to lower the vibrance because again, VHS footage, it looks more muted than the footage that we have now. So we need to lower the colors because we don't want the colors to pop, to pop. To pop. Someone please fire me. All right, so the last thing that we need to do in the color workspace is click on vignette and then lower the amount to about here. All right, let's go back to the editing workspace and then go down here to effects. Now, if you don't see the effects tab or you don't see the effects control tab, go up here to window and make sure that effect controls and effects are both ticked. All right, type in unsharp mask and drag that to your adjustment layer. As you can see, it popped up on the effect controls tab, which is where every effect will pop up. So if you need to delete an effect, go to the effect controls tab and delete it from there. Now, what the unsharp mask does is basically the opposite of unsharp because it sharpens the image. Like I just said, we reduced the sharpness of the image, but now we're adding an unsharp mask which will make it sharp again, but it will look different. So what we're going to do is we're going to set our radius to about 10 and then I'm going to set the amount to about 80. 
See, this is what I mean. It's sharp, but it's a different kind of sharp. So we're going to go back to our effects tab and we're going to type in noise. We want the noise to be there, but we want it to be subtle. We don't want to add a lot of it. So I'm going to set the amount to about 10, 12. Before we move on to the next effect, we need to make sure that use color noise is unchecked. All right, guys, I hope you're still with me. We're almost done. It already looks pretty good, but the last few things that we're gonna do, it's gonna make it 10 times better. So the next effect that we're going to add is the wave warp effect. So type in wave warp. Under the wave warp effect, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the wave type to square. As you can see, this is not what I want it to look like. Trust me, it's not what I want it to look like. So what we're going to do is we're going to lower the values of the wave height and a wave width. And as you can see now, it is very, very subtle. So the last thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that the wave speed is set to zero because we don't want it to move. If you don't set it to zero, you will see the lines moving, which is what I, I, I don't want that. The last thing that we're going to do here is we're going to click on the drop down menu next to spinning and we're going to select all edges. All right, now click on wave warp right here and then hit Control C or Command C if you're on a Mac and then Control V or Command C. And as you can see, you have duplicated the effect. Now all we need to do here is change the wave height to one and the direction to zero. In the beginning of the video, I said that I was going to share with you a tiny trick to only have to do this once, and that is to create a preset. In order to create a preset, what we're going to do is we are going to select all of the effects that we've just created. So we're just going to click on the metric color and then hold command or control, and then click on unsharp mask, noise, wave warp, and wave warp. Now right click and click on save preset. Now you can give it a name. I'm going to give it the VHS look name. Now, if you go to effects and you go to presets, you will find your VHS effect right here. And this means that you will never have to watch this video again. I hope you do, but you don't have to. <laughs> now it is time to add text and I downloaded a font. It's completely free. I'll put it in the description box or somewhere else for you to find so you can download it too. So what we're going to do is we're going to press T on our keyboard, then click on the screen and type play. Then we go to the effect controls tab and then right here under source text, we're going to find our font. Just type in VCR and you'll find it. Then just make it as big or as small as you want. Press V to get the selection tool back and then go down here to appearance and make sure that both the box of fill and shadow are selected. Then go to fill and make sure that it's white and the shadow is black. Don't forget to put the text layer underneath the adjustment layer when you're done. There's one last thing that we have to do and that is convert the 16 by nine to a four by three ratio. Now there's two things that you can do and it really depends on how you wanna use this VHS effect. If you wanna use this as part of your vlog, then you want to use method one that I'm going to show you. Now, if you want your entire video to look like a VHS tape and give it really that VHS old school feeling, then you want to do method two. Now, the first method is adding a crop effect. So go back to effects and then type in crop. And then you want to change the percentage of both left and right to 12 and a half percent. As you can see, it crops out the text. So make sure to adjust the position of the text. Now, if you want your entire video to look like a VHS tape or a camcorder tape, what you want to do is you want to change the sequence settings. And in order to change the sequence settings, go up here to sequence and then click on sequence settings. Now here you'll see frame size. And what we want to do is you want to change the horizontal value to 1440. Then press OK, and now you'll see that the aspect ratio has changed. As you can see right here, the line turned red, and that is a very bad sign. That means that the playback is super laggy. And now that we're done with all the effects, we want to see how it looks. So what we're going to do is we're going to first create our in and out points. So press I on your keyboard to create your in point and O on your keyboard to create your out point. And then go up here to sequence and select render in and out. Now this is going to take a little bit of time, but after that, you'll be able to play through it smoothly. If you made it this far into the video, I actually want to give you a little gift and that is my VHS preset. It's completely free. You can find it in the link in the description box. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified when more videos come out. And I guess I'll see you in my next one. So we're going to lower both the wave height and the wave width, wave width, wave width, wave width, oh my god. And then we're going to lower the amount to...